King and honor, glory and power be unto the ancient of days. From every nation, From every nation all of creation. All of creation bow before thee. Thank you for tuning in for this broadcast this morning. It's always a pleasure to come into your homes and to break the word of God, the bread of life, together with you. I know we are going through tough and rough time a lot of regulations because of the pandemic that has really hit the entire world but our God is still on the throne can you say amen to that he is still God he is the same yesterday today and forever and therefore we thank God for the media that we can reach you where you are with the gospel and so we welcome you into our service today. The Lord bless you so much. Feel like you are in the church. Just shout a big amen if you want to. Pray with us when we pray. Clap with us when we clap. Because there is no distance in the spirit. The Lord is going to meet you where you are. And so if you have your Bible, turn to the book of 1 Peter chapter number 5. Turn to the book of 1 Peter chapter number 5. Petro Mokwongo, Madongo Abich. I want us to read from verse number 5 to 11. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse number 5 to 11. First Peter chapter 5, verse number 5, going down to verse number 11. Petro Mokwongo, Madongo Abich, Matinda Abich, Kawadi Nyakapar Kodachia. This is what the scripture says. Mai Gima Mumawacho. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourselves to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Wacho ni, kama nubende unijo matindo, nyaka unijo dodongu, kendo unduto, nyaka uruwaku muolo kanao, kuko nyurui kindu wegi. Imarmo mawacho ni nyasai dagi josunga to joma muol ema omiyo ngono. Therefore humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Omiyo bedruma muol e buoba de nyasai endalo e buoba de nyasai manigiteko mondo obi otimu malo endalo mowinjore ne. Watch verse 7 casting all your care upon him for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Resist him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are experienced by your brotherhood in the world. But may the God of all grace, who call us to his eternal glory, by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. O kause nwango chandruok kum kinde matin kunyasachu nwano duto mauselungo kum Kristo 
e duong ne mochwere no duog chunyu mimi uteko kendo mi uchung motegno koketu e mise ma ok yiengeni to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever amen and a one lord nyaka chieng amen and may the lord bless his word ya sai mundo kwedo wachene the portion of the scripture that i've read and ke kama assesso mono was written by a man called peter no ndike kod jal miluongo ni petro he was writing to the jewish believers no ndiko ni jo yahudi moyie struggling in the midst of persecution they were going through stuff amen they were going through stuff through situations and familiar experiences they were going through hard times just like the time we are going through right now there is fear because of the disease the covid-19 people are asking questions Many don't know who to turn to or what to expect. Such a time as this we are struggling within ourselves. Because everybody is grappling and trying to find something to comfort him or her on the inside. But thank God for the word of God. That is always alive. Amen. Amen. And so Peter was writing to the believers. And I believe that what he's saying here is very relevant for us at this time. What is Peter telling the people? He is encouraging them to conduct themselves courageously. Because they are in the program of Christ. Even though they are going through persecution and hard times, there is a lot going on around in their world. But Peter is reminding the believers that you are in the program of Christ. Say amen to that. Amen. Each one of us, we must know that we are in the program of Christ. You are here for such a time as this because you are in Christ's agenda. You are not in the world agenda. Even though you live in the world, you are in Christ's agenda. Say amen to that. Amen. And so both of their character and conduct must be above reproach. This is the time that the children of God, Christians, our character and conduct must be above reproach. You must stand for Christ. You must defend your faith. You must believe the word, you must confess the word. You must live the word. You must produce the fruits of the spirit. The fruits of the spirit must be seen at this time. Say amen to that. Why? Because we are imitators of Christ's character. Hallelujah. And that character of Christ calls on us the citizens of this country to portray the character of Christ. To be men and women of integrity. To live a holy life. And so when you go back to verse number one, coming down to uh, verse number five, he's talking to believers as citizens of a government. 
He's also talking to the servants, to the masters. How they should submit to their masters. He is also talking to wives. How they should submit to their husbands. And also how Christians should submit to one another. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so the title that I want to talk to you about is this. Response determines the result. Hallelujah. Amen. When you go back to Peter chapter one, uh, chapter four of the same uh, epistle, verse twelve, he says, "This beloved, do not think it strange concerning fairy trials, which is to try you, as though some strange things are happening to you." Owachonia, osiepena, kawido temager. That should bless you already. He's saying, beloved, do not think it strange concerning fairy trials which is to try you. Why as though some strange things happen to you? Let me bring that one down to what we are talking about all over now. Hallelujah. We have had plagues. We have had pandemics. It is there in the history of humanity. But God always came down. Those who know their God. The Bible says shall be strong. And they shall do great exploits. There are times that things happen in our lives. For us to remember our God. When everything fails. Remember you are God. So this is not strange. Because in the beginning was God. There is nothing that happens that God does not know. God is in the equation of this coronavirus. He has the answer. He has the solution. So it's not strange to us. It's something new but we know that our God is able. Say amen to that. Hallelujah. Amen. So Paul, I mean Peter says do not think it strange, brothers. When you go through fairy trials, that is the, this is the time that our faith is being tried. Our economy is shaking. Our health system is shaking. Our education is shaking. Our relationship is shaking. You are forced to quarantine. You are forced to quarantine. A man is separated from his wife. A father separated from his children. Those are real trials. Hallelujah. These are not strange. Because the scripture says in Psalms 34. Verse, nine, verse 19 that many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivers him from all hallelujah, hallelujah. many are the afflictions 
of the righteous but the Bible says the Lord delivers him out of them all and I believe the Lord is going to deliver us from this pandemic can you say amen with me I believe that the Lord is going to deliver us it doesn't matter how long but what I know is that the time is coming and God's time is the best what we need to do is to stand as the righteousness of God none of these things should move you we will keep on praying we will keep on confessing the word we will keep on believing the word we will keep on praying even when the church building is closed my spirit will never be closed my mouth will never be zipped up I will keep on praising God because I am the righteousness of God and my praise and worship will ignite my deliverance your deliverance is coming your deliverance is coming your deliverance is coming your deliverance is coming the Lord is sending a deliverance say amen to that the devil is a liar amen amen no, God is dealing with us in so many ways. Listen, he says, the Lord resists the proud. Even the people thought that they have the best technology. The best scientists in the world. The best weapons in the world. The best economy in the world. That made them feel proud. God has resisted all that. He has resisted all that. He has brought that to nothing. He's saying you now have to look to me. You have to look up to the sky. That is where our help comes from. Our help does not come from man. It comes from God Almighty. Those who know their God shall be strong. A child of God, if you know your God, be strong in this situation. In this circumstance, stand strong. Know that your salvation is coming. Can you say amen? So, God is saying, I can harm you if you are proud. God is drawing you our attention. He saying, I want you to be watchful. What we need to do is to be watchful. Even as Christians, I know God is going to bring a solution to this problem. I believe that God is working. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But what we need to do is to be watchful. Don't be proud. I listen to some people talking about what's going on. Everybody wants to have a credit. I talked about it this many years. There is nothing new in the face of the world that happens that God does not know. So, so even if you said it, that should not make you be proud. Even if you prophesied about it, that's not something that can take the place of God. Because God is the Alpha and the Omega. It's the beginning and the end. So be watchful. Don't set yourself to be proud. We all need the grace of God. We all need the grace of God. And that is what we need right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when we live in humility, we imitate our Lord. 
And that's why God is saying submit. We have submitted to the government. And we heard what the health minister said. That's why we can't gather in a church. For a church service on Sunday. We are obeying the authority. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We must wash our hands. We do that. We, we must keep it. our social distance. We do that. We, we submit to that authority that God has given us in the form of a government. But God is saying, resist the proud. Anything that's done out of pride is not of God. And this is the time that our leaders should not exercise unnecessary authority. How I pray that they'll make the right decisions. They should not be proud on what they are doing. Let us humble ourselves and let us display the character of God. Say amen to that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In verse number 8 and 9 that we've just read it says be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour. Hallelujah. He says, be what? Be what? vigilant. Why? Because the enemy is roaring like a lion. He is seeking whom he may devour. Satan is a real being. He is dangerous. He is a dangerous individual. He is the bitter enemy of God and man. Jesus said this of the devil. In John 10.10. 10, that he, he comes to steal, kill and destroy. I strongly believe that whatever kills. Is from the devil. This virus is from the devil. And the Bible says he's roaring like a lion, seeking those that he may devour. He's not a lion, but he's roaring like a lion. But we are here to tell the devil that we know only one. One lion, the lion of the tribe of Judah. His name is Jesus. He will never roar like our king. He will never roar like our king. He will never roar like our lion. Although today we expose him in the name of Jesus. We refuse his influence. He may roar through coronavirus, but I know that soon and very soon, the king of the land of the tribe of Judah is going to roar. He is going to destroy his works in the name of Jesus. And what the devil meant for bad, God is going to turn it for our good. And after this, we are coming out stronger. We are coming out stronger as a family, as a church, as a couple, as boys and girls, as a nation, as a people, we are coming out stronger. Hallelujah. When the lion of the tribe of Judah will roar, every lion will bow. Every disease will bow. Let the king of kings be exalted and lifted up. Even in the midst of this pandemic, 
He is still the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't be fearful. Let him roar. Don't be fearful. Know that something is on the inside of you that the devil does not have. The Spirit of God lives inside of you. And that the Bible says that same Spirit that resurrected Jesus from the dead dwells inside of you. You have that Spirit. That Spirit will keep you strong. That Spirit will keep your faith moving. Don't worry what the enemy is saying. He may roar through the WhatsApp. He may roar through Facebook. He may roar through Internet. But the lion of the tribe of Judah is going to roar soon and very soon. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say amen to that. Jesus says in John 8:44. That is a liar and a father of lies. He is a liar and a father of what? Lies. And indeed, we have had a lot of lies concerning coronavirus. The devil is using it to lie, to bring fear. I won't live in fear. I refuse to be fearful. I refuse to take the lie of the enemy. Hallelujah. Job says this in Job chapter 2 verse 1 and to write that one down. He says, again there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan came also among them to present himself before the Lord. And the Lord said to Satan, from where do you come from? Listen to what he's saying. He answered and said, from going to and fro on earth and walking back and forth on it. So anybody who's roaming to and fro is already confused. Hallelujah. He does not know what he's looking for. And that is what he answered God. That I'm from the earth. Roaming to and fro. It means he was looking for somebody vulnerable. Somebody who can open his door for him. For him to come in. That's why Peter says, resist him and he will flee. And I'm here to tell the devil that you are not welcome in my life. You are not welcome in my body. You are not welcome in my house. Keep roaming the earth. But my house and my home is out of bounds because I'm protected by the blood of Jesus. Because I'm protected by the blood of the king. You cannot pass the bloodline roam to and fro but my house my children my grandchildren my home is out of bounds can you say amen to that let him roam about to and fro on the earth let him seek whom he may devour but he will not find me because I'm protected by the blood of Jesus that blood has never lost its power that's the blood that the enemy understands and fears that blood is speaking that blood is protecting that blood is powerful hallelujah hallelujah and that's why I'm speaking to you today. That how you respond to this message will determine the results.